Hey there, VCHHD students. My name's Andy. I'm a VC Health and Human Development teacher. In this short video, we're going to look at how to answer questions about sustainability. And this is relevant to Unit 4 HHD, particularly area study one in the 2025 plus HHD study design. If you don't already, there's lots of ways you can engage with the health resources hub. If you're on YouTube at the moment, you can subscribe with the button in the bottom corner of the video there to our YouTube channel. That means you'll get alerts to all of our new videos as they come out across the year. We've also got our website there, the hrh.net.au, where there's opportunities for HHD students and teachers and that's being updated regularly so please check that out also got our instagram tiktok and facebook pages where you can follow us and get alerts to all of our new videos and other opportunities and sack and exam tips and advice just search for the health resources hub on those different social media pages and also our email info at the hrh.net.au where you can get in touch with us Okay, so what particular parts of the course does this video relate to? So you can see here the unit for key knowledge and key skill relevant to sustainability. So the key knowledge mentions the concept and dimensions of sustainability. So there's three different dimensions, environmental, social, and economic, and its role in the promotion of health and human development. Just a reminder, if you see that term health, that's similar to health outcomes. It can be linked into both health and well-being and health status. So that's health and well-being dimensions and health status as indicators, so don't forget about that. Also that term there, human development, we have done a previous video about answering questions about human development. So if you haven't checked that out, please go back and have a look at our back catalog. The unit four key skill there asks you to be able to explain sustainability in those three different dimensions and its importance in the promotion of health and human development in a global context. And so it's important to note there that it says in a global context. And so we'll do a video elaborating on this a bit more more soon, but we have done some social media videos about this. If you see that term global context or globally, you need to make sure that your answer is referencing beyond an individual and is referring to, uh, I guess, populations worldwide or across many countries or globally. And so if you haven't had a look at some of our social media videos about that, please go and check those out. Okay, so to begin with, what is sustainability? So you can see there a description where it talks about meeting the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. So I'd make sure you've got that as part of your glossary for Unit 4 Era of Study 1. But essentially, sustainability is talking about not only, okay, being concerned about the current generation, so the now and being able to meet our needs in terms of things like resources, but not depleting all of these resources so that future generations don't have access to them. So using them in a sustainable way where they'll still be available into the future. And so you could be asked, okay, to link into the different dimensions of sustainability. So you can see on the side there, those three different dimensions, social, environmental, and economic. And each of those have different examples that are relevant to sort of supporting that type of sustainability. And we'll have a look at some of those in a minute. And so with those examples, you can then be asked how they might help to promote health and human development. And we'll have a look at a practice question coming up where you can ensure that you're able to make reference to appropriate phrases as part of your answer that demonstrate that you understand sustainability. So you can see there down the bottom, okay, are some of those phrases. So on an ongoing basis, now and into the future and present and future generations. So if you're incorporating some of those phrases into your answer when answering questions about sustainability, you're demonstrating that you sort of understand that concept about sort of present and future generations being relevant to sustainability. And we'll talk about that a little bit more in our sample answer soon. So just briefly, what is okay economic, social and environmental sustainability? You can see here for economic that it's ensuring that average incomes in all countries are adequate to sustain a decent standard of living and continue to rise in line with inflation and living costs in the future. So essentially lot so those factors there on the side that promote economic sustainability are related to people being able to obtain employment and have job opportunities so they can earn, okay, and income that helps sort of support, okay, their ability to afford those necessities in life, such as food, shelter, clothing, water. So job creation, trade, innovation and diversity of industries and economic growth all support economic sustainability. And what I probably encourage you to do is sort of go away and do a little bit of reading in your um, resources, such as your textbook, about each of these kind of examples so that you could elaborate on them and link them into sort of health and human development if you had to in a particular question that was focusing on one of those examples. For social sustainability, okay, creating an equitable society where all people can access social resources both now and in the future. 
So once again, you can see a range of factors that help to promote social sustainability. So peace and security, because obviously that then allows people to do things like attend school, okay, where they can access education, provision of social protection systems. So helping people to have, okay, a minimum amount of resources so they're unlikely to fall into poverty. So in Australia, some people might refer to that as like Centrelink. That's an example of social protection systems, gender equality, access to safe and decent working conditions and promotion of political and legal rights. What I'd probably encourage you to do is set up a table in your notes where you've got some of these examples, okay, of factors that promote the three different dimensions of sustainability. And then you're linking those into health and human development. If you are part of our free student newsletter, you can see down the bottom there is a link to our website where you can head over. And if you scroll towards the bottom of the page, there's a link to sign up if you're a unit three and four student. I'm sending out a couple of times a term, some free student newsletters. And in the most recent one, I'm sending out a table, which is kind of set up for you already. So you can practice linking some of these different examples of the dimensions of sustainability into health and human development. So if you'd like to be part of that, just head there and sign up. And then environmental sustainability. So ensuring the natural environment is used in a way that will preserve resources into the future. So I think when we talk about sustainability, a lot of students quickly think Okay, about examples related to environmental sustainability. So often they're thinking about things like, um, I guess, fish stocks in the ocean, using those in a sustainable way, or timber. When you're cutting down a tree, you should plant, okay, another tree in its place. So sustainable use of natural resources is, okay, a factor that promotes environmental sustainability. So is safe waste and removal of um, waste and helping to reduce pollution addressing climate change and maintaining biodiversity. So that range of sort of plants and animals on the planet. And once again, I'd go and sort of read a little bit about each of these in your resources and practice linking them into health and human development. Just a reminder, if you're not already aware, I am running a range of different HHD exam preparation, okay, and revision sessions this year from the organization ACE. So these are sort of now available at book.ace2ac.com if you'd like to sort of sign up in this period at the moment where there is reduced prices for each of the tickets in the early bird booking period. So I'll be running four different sessions. All of them are running online, so you can join from anywhere in the state. Each session will go through the key concepts across unit three and four, but also dive into challenging questions from past exams and how you can approach these types of challenging questions if they come up in the exam this year, as well as the new sort of section A and B, okay, sections on the exam this year. So advice and strategies for those, particularly section B, which is the extended response question and how you can prepare for that. So as I said, there's four different sessions available there. If you do sign up, you'll get a set of notes sent to you in the post, you can also bundle the revision questions book that I've worked on with ACE once again for the new study design this year. And it's got over 500 marks for the practice questions, as well as a whole chapter on extended response questions and a full trial exam with the sample answers for all of that. So you can combine that with a ticket to one of those uh, lecture times and dates there. And then both of the notes for the lecture, as well as the revision questions book will come to you in the post. So that's a book vc.com there's also eight other subjects available so pe as well as english psychology biology okay chemistry maths there's lots of different sessions available and if you combine two plus sessions with hhd then you can save over 20 dollars per ticket so at the moment that's a really good deal so if you head to that booking website there's all of the different dates and times that are available for all of those subjects as well Okay, so here's a sample question and answer related to sustainability. So the question is, how can access to education demonstrate sustainability and promote global health outcomes? So hopefully you note there that it's talking about access to education, okay, and it's linking into global health outcomes. So that term global in the question is important to note, okay, as well as health outcomes. So health outcomes means you can link into either health and well-being, okay, dimensions or health status indicators. So let's have a look at the sample answer. So access to education across the world demonstrates social sustainability. So it's linking into one of the dimensions as it means people globally can acquire knowledge and develop skills such as literacy and numeracy skills now and into the future. So there's one of those phrases I was talking about earlier. 
that's important to include in an answer when talking about sustainability. Then it says, this means current and future generations can learn about the importance of nutritious diet, to promote the functioning of the immune system, reduce illness and disease, promoting physical health and well-being globally. So you can see once again in that second sentence, referring to current and future generations, giving an example of what they can learn, okay, if they have access to education, then linking that into, okay, physical health and well-being, but using that term sort of globally to show that you're talking about not just one individual, okay, but people worldwide. So that you're addressing that sort of global health outcomes part of the question here. So those are the key things I think to really think about when answering questions about sustainability, ensuring that you're incorporating some of those phrases that show that not just sort of referencing the current generation, but also future generations as well. And if you see that term sort of global or global context in these kinds of questions, ensuring that you're sort of referencing either people globally, okay, across the world, okay, across many countries, just to make sure that you're addressing that part of the question as well. Okay, hopefully you found that video useful. Just a reminder, head to our website. If you haven't already recently, there's lots of opportunities there for HHD students and teachers, and that's being updated directly. Thanks so much.